Watch this entire video if you want to learn a little bit more about how to bet soccer. I know it can be confusing for a lot of people because it's not really an American sport and there's a lot more options and variables than when you are betting an American sport. And being that we are in the middle of the Copa America right now, which is a big soccer tournament that consists of North America, Central America, and South America, and being that we're also in the middle of the Euro Cup right now, which is a big soccer tournament that consists of all of Europe, I thought that this was a very good time to dig in and talk to you guys about how to make some soccer bets and how to be careful. And one of the biggest things that I noticed that confuse a lot of people that are used to betting American sports. Now, here's what I mean by that. If you bet an American sport, they're, for the most part, basketball, um, hockey does have a little bit of tie situations, but for the most part, basketball, hockey, baseball, football, you always have a winner and a loser. In soccer, that is not the case. Sometimes you have a tie or a push, whatever you want to call it. So when we look at that, I'm going to use a couple games as an example, guys. And this is not me giving out a pick. This is just a tutorial, educational type of thing. So what are we going to look at? I'm going to make it easy. And I'm going to look at a future game that's coming up here. I'm going to look at Austria versus Turkey. So Austria is sitting at minus 105. Turkey is sitting at plus 300. So that means if you bet $105 on Austria to win, you win 100 plus your 105 back. If you bet $100 on Turkey to win, you win 300 plus your 100 back. So you, you're betting 100 to make 400 gross, 300 net. And then you can also bet the tie plus 225, which means that you only win if the game ends in a tie. But if you bet 100, you get back 325 gross, 225 net. So a lot of people are asking me, well, what if I want to bet and make it more of like an American bet where you know, if the tie occurs, I don't lose, right? That might sound a little confusing. But here's the way that you're going to bet soccer to eliminate the tie situation. So, if you bet Austria, and if you want to bet that Austria is either going to win or the game is going to tie, remember, Austria is already minus 105. The tie is plus 225. Now, a lot of people would say, well, I'll just parlay Austria and the tie. Can't do that because they both can't happen. It's either one or the other. So how do you do it? You bet plus a half of a goal. So if let's say you want to bet that either Turkey's going to win or the game is going to end in a tie, you can bet Turkey plus a half a goal, and that's minus 125. Now... If you want to bet Austria is going to win or the game is going to end in a tie, you bet Austria plus a half of a goal. So that means that if Austria wins, you win your bet. But if the game ends in a tie, you also win your bet. Flipping it back the other way, if you bet Turkey plus a half a goal, just to repeat that one more time, if Turkey wins, you win your bet. But if the game ends in a tie, you also win your bet. So in my opinion, if you're going to bet the dog and you want a little bit extra security in that tie, that's a fantastic bet. So that is how you can cover both bases in one bet where you make money if the game ends in a tie or you make money if Austria um, wins or Turkey wins, whichever way you want to roll with that. That was just a game that I used as an example. You could do this in any game. And I'm going to be creating more of these videos to teach you guys how to bet certain situations in certain sports. I hope you found this helpful. If you found this helpful, leave us a comment. Remember to like, subscribe, do all that great stuff. If you are still confused, 
and you want some more explanation, leave us a comment and tell us where you are still confused, and we'll do our best to help you out. I love you guys. I appreciate you coming on for this soccer tutorial. Catch you next time. We come with a lot more heat. This is, by the way, our new office. We're going to be testing different locations for these videos and seeing how it all works.